Good evening. We begin tonight with a grassroots citizens group who wants to make sure that Boiseans have a say in two controversial projects. You see them behind us, the new sports stadium right there and a new library. They believe they're much closer tonight to meeting that goal. The group Boise Working Together wants to get the projects on the November ballot for a public vote. And today they turned in more than 7,000 signatures in support of a vote. Our Misty Inglet is live outside the Boise Library with more on that and reaction from Mayor Beter. Misty. Well, Mark and Kim, those 7,000 plus signatures still have to be verified by the Ada County Clerk before the projects can appear on the ballot, and at least 5,000 of those do have to be valid. The clerk has 60 days to figure that out. But regardless of today's events, both those involved with the library project as well as the Boise mayor are hopeful the new library will happen. <laughs> The group Boise Working Together submitted stacks of voter signatures to the Boise City Clerk on Tuesday. I want to stress, though, that these are not just signatures. These are real people. More than 7,000 of them on both the sports stadium and the library. The group says their work is not about promoting or stopping the projects. It's about making sure voters have a say in them. It's not necessarily the projects, it's the way they're done and the way the citizens are engaged. We feel that's been deficient. When these two projects came up, they just kind of coalesced some of this feeling that we've had that the city needs to be talking to the people a little bit more before they make these decisions. We should be able to vote when we are asked to uh, shoulder a great responsibility, which these two projects have become. Boise Mayor David Beter sent a statement after the signatures were filed saying, quote, we are optimistic that both projects will become reality no matter the ultimate determination by the county clerk on the petitions, end quote. The director of the current library agrees. He feels the city can find a way to get the library built, even with changes coming to state law. Those changes will require a public vote when more than 50% of the funding for municipal building projects comes from state or local public money, including urban renewal dollars. But both Mayor Beter and the library director don't believe that matters. The new library can still happen. Absolutely, it'll be possible. Uh, that was only one funding mechanism, so there's several things that we can do. So our financial team, as well as our project team, are looking at other ways that we can finance this project. And we'll continue to do that. I'm confident that most of the public wants this building built. I'm optimistic it will be. And I know that we have strong and solid support from the community to build a new library. And the library director tells me that right now they're about 20% done with the schematic designs for the new library. He also said that so far they have about $12 million in committed funding for the new library. And he also says they hope to have some detailed plans of what the inside of that library will look like to show the public in about August. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, great update, Misty. Thank you for that.